Our brand new cycle of basic Spacelands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. This deck is one that I am super, super excited to be playing because it is a Sanctum of All Shrines deck. This is one brought to us again by Turn 1 Soul Ring. This is one that I, I really, really wanted to play early in the season, and I, I honestly can't wait. I think this is going to be really, really fun. Uh, I just want to mention I haven't playtested this deck, and I understand that the Shrines deck may be a little on the on the jank line, but we'll see. Uh, I, I'm kind of interested to see how well this one goes. So there are obviously quite a lot of new cards in this list. Uh, to kind of go through them, the idea here is Sanctum of All is our big one. Uh, this is a legendary enchantment shrine. It is a complete rainbow, uh, so you do have to have every single color of mana to play it, but at the beginning of your upkeep, you can search your library or your graveyard for a shrine card, put it onto the battlefield, uh, and then, of course, shuffle your deck if you search through your library. Uh, if an ability of another shrine you control triggers while you control six or more shrines, that ability triggers an additional time. So uh, not only is this going to help us dig out our shrines, but it's also uh, going to hopefully help them uh, double trigger, which just means we get tons and tons of extra value. So that's kind of the goal with this. Uh, as such, the shrines that we have, uh, Sanctum of Tranquil Light is our uh, kind of turn one uh, shrine if we can get there. Uh, it, you can pay five and a white tap target creature. Uh, it does cost one less to activate for every shrine that you control. So uh, this just kind of gets cheaper. Not one of the best ones, but definitely useful uh, and beautiful art. Uh, we also have Sanctum of Stone Fangs, uh, which is one in a black. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, where X is the number of shrines you control. Uh, very, very good one. This is probably going to be the one that we win most off of on, uh, or win most often on. Um, if we win, <laughs> um, we'll see. Uh, Sanctum of Shattered Heights uh, is you you pay one, discard a land or a shrine card, uh, and it deals X damage to target creature or planeswalker where X is the number of shrines you control. This is going to be the one that helps us stay alive, but also deals with um, a lot of creatures and planeswalkers on the field. So this is really a big one for us. Uh, Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest, uh, at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, add X mana of any one color where X is the number of shrines you control. Uh, so this one's going to help ramp us, hopefully, uh, to get us to, obviously, all these really, really big cards. Uh, and then the last one here, Sanctum of Calm Waters. Uh, at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, you can draw X cards where X is the number of shrines you control, and then you discard a card. Um, keep in mind, these are all legendary. Uh, so we do have to have one, two, three, four, five, six separate shrines out on the battlefield for them to start to double trigger off of the, off of the sanctum. So just keep that in mind. Uh, that is very ambitious. Uh, not to mention this is a five color deck. So uh, to help us get there, uh, we do have some ramp in the way of Paradise Druid here, which is a really nice card in this deck. Uh, not only does it have that conditional hexproof, which I really like, but it fixes our mana, which is great. Uh, Omen of the Sea is here to help us draw some cards, as well as Satessan Champion. Uh, so whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under our control, you get a 1-1 counter on this, but you also get to draw a card, which is really, really crucial uh, to help us get to those, you know, those six different shrines. Uh, Teferi Time Raveler, again, kind of a tempo play mostly, but uh, it does help us draw some cards, so that's also very, very good. Uh, Shatter the Sky, a great way to just kind of clear the board uh, to make sure that, you know, we do stay alive until we can get what we need to get. And then Kalos here is going to help us, uh, Kalix, excuse me, uh, is really going to help us uh, dig for those those shrines as we need them. Uh, and also provide a little bit of removal uh, on the field if we need it as well. Uh, in terms of lands, I believe we are running 25, yes. Uh, so uh, two islands, one swamp, one mountain, two forest. Uh, and then just a smattering of lands. <laughs> um, I would go over these, but l you can you can pull the list down below if you really want to. So that's the deck, again, brought to us by Turn 1 Soul Ring. I really do appreciate the submission, and I promise we will be playing some other uh, decks from some other uh, people who have submitted some things very soon. This is just one that, in particular, I was really, really excited to get out there. So we're going to try this. Uh, this is a very silly deck idea, but... New shrines breed new possibilities, so here we are. Um, I'm really excited to give this one a shot. Uh, I do have another deck kind of prepared for today. You probably got a glimpse of it already, uh, and I'm really excited for that one. That one I have play tested. 
Uh, and it was not necessarily a deck submission by any means, but I do think it's a very, very cool card. Or, or excuse me, a cool deck. Um, yeah, we'll keep this. We got one Shrine, but more importantly, we have a Satessan Champion and a Shatter the Sky, both of which are going to be really, really crucial for us. So uh, let's get the Tapped Lands down first, obviously. Uh, and it's very nice that we have the double white so we can go ahead and Shatter the Sky. Um, as always, I do want to mention, you know, uh, like I said, Turn 1 Soul Ring is the one that uh, submitted this deck. But if you would like to submit a deck, you certainly can. Whoops, I did not mean to shock myself. Um, well, we evened out. Um, if you would like to, you certainly can. Uh, we'd obviously very much appreciate it. Um, what's going to be the best way to do this? Let's just do Sanctum. Uh, I'd like to get one of these down, but with the intention of shattering very, very soon, I kind of don't think we need to. Um, they're most likely going to try and pump this guy up pretty heavily or do this, so... Makes sense. Um, so now we get to shatter. Uh, we'll just use a white here. Uh, let's go ahead and shatter. <coughs> get those guys out of there. And we'll play this. Um... Next turn, we'll probably add black so we can place the Tessin Champion and then also the Sanctum of Stonefangs so we can continuously kind of draw. Uh, depending on what they do here, obviously, we may end up having to shatter this guy again, but we'll see. Uh, let's do this. Um, let's do this. Oh, no, it used the... <sighs> that was my mistake. Um, I should have also just kind of shocked that in. That was my mistake. I let it auto-tap and I shouldn't have. Uh, one big worry with this deck is you do have to worry about auto-tapping. Um, anyway, if you would like to suggest a deck, you certainly can. We've got a Discord for that, so please check that out if you are interested. Uh, we certainly, obviously, would appreciate it. And, uh, we've got a lot of deck submissions to go through for this one, so I'm really excited about it. But, uh, just a heads up. Alright, let's do this. Hmm. Okay. I don't want this to auto tap. <laughs> so um, let's do green and green. Let's drop these. Let's drop this. So now we get a couple counters and we get to draw a card. Ooh, very good one too. Um, and let's go ahead and play this out. Get to do it again. Um, not going to attack here. We are very much on the defensive at the moment, but that's fine. I'm perfectly happy with that. And now we've got we got the ball rolling at the very least. If we need to pull the trigger on the shatter of the sky, we certainly can. Um, and we may, I mean, we may be in trouble here, no doubt. But uh, at least we're going to get to hopefully gain some life back on the following turn. So uh, this is such a silly deck, man. <laughs> I love this. Uh, we do have to be, uh, we have to... We have to figure out what color we need to get. Uh, it might just be blue. Um, I like the Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest. It does make things quite nice um, when you've got a lot, of, a lot of mana out. That's very good, but thankfully we are going to hopefully be able to pump these guys up. Okay, that's fine. That definitely sucks, but that's not the worst thing in the world. All right. Do that. Um... You know, let's actually add white. Um, and I think we're going to end up... Hmm. Hmm, hmm. So I definitely want to play as many enchantments as I can first. Um, I definitely think that's the way to go. Uh, so that way we just get to draw as many cards as we possibly can. Um, okay. It's not a ton, but uh, now... Hmm. So we can just tap all their stuff down if we really want to, but I kind of just want to shatter this guy. Let's just shatter. Ooh, we got the Sanctum. That's very good for us, uh, because that does mean we actually get to play this next turn, um, given that we can get red off of this. Actually, we don't even need that. We've got all the, all the lands we need. Let's make sure red, white, uh, green, blue, black. Yeah, we've got all of them. That's kind of nice. Um, I just love that you just get incidental value. <laughs> yeah, I would love to draw four cards. That would be fantastic. Uh, let's ditch that. We're not going to play it. Um, it doesn't even matter. It just doesn't. Um, 
We'll do green. We've got a lot of green stuff. Let's play this. <laughs> um, play a steam vents tapped. That's fine. Whoops. Um, play this out. I mean, play this out. <laughs> like eventually we just get there. Um, we don't really need either of those. We really just need the red sanctum. And that's kind of it. Um, so that's good. <laughs> um, we do have to, I guess, worry about... I mean, that's fine. I don't particularly care about the minus on uh, on Vivian here. It's not all that exciting. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're going to get the sanctum out with this, so that's good. I mean, regardless of what happens, we actually get that. So I'm not worried there. So we'll start to double trigger everything, which means eventually we'll just win off of the stone fangs. This deck is sweet. Um, it's a little weird to play, but it's definitely sweet. Um, I'm going to block here. I don't particularly need to, but given what this deck is, yeah, like we need to, we need to protect our life total as much as possible here. Um, search your deck. Let's get you out. All right. Now they all double trigger. <laughs> uh, do I want to draw six cards? Sure. We don't have to. Um, so I'm going to decline this time because we actually don't want to draw but so many. Um, sure. That. Why not? And that, I guess. Um, here we can do this. We'll just do this, I guess, on this one. Just to kind of, again, mitigate as much as we can. That's fine. Um, this. I kind of just want to do this again, but we're not going to. Um, let's do that. We will. I don't want to. We'll play this out. We're going to just draw so many cards. Um, holy crap, this deck is cool. Guys, this deck is awesome. <laughs> like, I'm so amazed right now. Oh, that's a good draw, actually. Let's play this out. We've got so much mana, it's kind of ridiculous. So that's good. Just do this. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I was wondering when the, <laughs> when the opponent was going to take the hit. Wow! Guys, it worked, like, super well. Okay, uh, turn one, Soul Ring, man. You are an all-star, my friend. Ooh, that chair. Um, you, you guys are amazing. I love this. Uh, absolutely love this. All right, let's jump into game two. Uh, I do expect that these games will go a bit long, so I do apologize, but, uh, hopefully it's worth it. I think it is. This deck is sweet. <laughs> um... Very, very likely that that doesn't happen every single time. So we're going to tailor our expectations a little bit, but my goodness, was that fun. Um, do we keep this? I think we do. This is a decent starting hand. Um, it's not amazing, certainly, but... And I'm assuming this is going to be like a cycling deck or something, which pisses me off, but it is what it is. You guys know how much I hate cycling. I don't know why I hate it that much. I just think it's so annoying. Um, ooh, our frame rates are terrible. Um, we're gonna try and stick it out. Also, if you hear a dog barking, there's a dog barking. Can't do much about it. I'm recording. Um, all right. Let's see what we can do. Maybe it's not cycling. Very curious. Very, very curious. Uh, let's do this. And let's just go ahead and play this guy out. Uh, this is just a good start because it's gonna start, you know, naturally kind of uh, draining some life for us, so that way we can kind of keep ourselves in the game a little quicker if this turns into a bit more of an aggro style deck. I don't actually remember the deck constraint with this. Uh, each permanent in your starting deck has an activated ability. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um. Oh, mean? That was so mean. That was so rude. Uh, let's do this, and let's do this. Well, that wasn't very nice. Sorry for the frame rates, guys. We're sticking it out, but um, we'll see what happens. Well, now they know what we're doing, um, which is fine. I don't particularly care that they know. Uh, 
Let's throw this out there. Let's throw this out there. Go ahead and get some value. Are they going, going to uh, do anything? They're considering it. Uh, usually the frame rate issue is connected to bad network connection on either one of our ends, but considering our network is actually like, currently my network at least is pretty good. So like, I don't think that's the big issue. I think it tends to be more on their side, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, so here we're going to get to draw a couple cards, refill our hand a little bit, hopefully power this guy up and then be able to swing in. Um, I do kind of want Calyx. Um, okay. Uh, kind of wish I had left up the untapped land then. That was kind of a mistake to play that first, but that's okay. Uh, the opponent taking a while. Kind of don't like that. Especially given that we have terrible frame rates, but that's fine. Let's move in. Uh, so, depending on what they do, we've got some, some options here. Um, I don't know 100% what the best one will be until we see what they're going to do, but that's fine. Okay, that I don't really care about. Um, hmm. I mean... We can just do this and kind of get rid of this, which I like. I kind of like that idea. Um, they're being very slow. Um, let's just go ahead and ditch this. Uh, we'll keep the omen on the field, that's fine. Or they'll kill it with another stupid Light of Hope, which is such a dumb card to have in your deck. Why do you have that? Is it just because of the Sanctum decks that you've got this? Um, anyway, but... That just means they have to kill an omen now to get this back, which is so much worse than killing any of our other cards. <laughs> Play this, um, and we'll go ahead and attack it. I think my goal with this deck is literally just to keep them off of as much as possible, given our hand. So Calyx really helps with that, but also Teferi's going to help bounce some stuff. So, you know, if they deal with Calyx, cool, we've got Teferi. Also, if they deal with Calyx, their chances are they're not playing anything else. Um, and this is like kind of fine because we've left up a number of other things, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, well, okay, first things first, let's do this. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Um, let's play this out. And I'm gonna go ahead and play the Paradise Druid here. Um, and we'll see what they want to do. If they sweep again, um, if they've got Extinction Event. Oh, okay. Interesting. This is just an everything answers deck, um, which is really frustrating, but not the worst thing in the world. Calyx is really going to be helping out here, I think, a good bit. Do you have another Light of Hope? Probably, right? Uh, first things first, of course. Ooh. Um, let's get this one, actually. We'll go ahead and throw this out there. Hmm. I'm going to put the Paradise Druid out. Um, I know it's not necessarily mana efficient. We could have also gotten this Sanctum out, and maybe that would have been better. I, I don't know. Um, I kind of want to keep things moving on three different points of... Oh, wow. Well, that's good. Um... Let's play you. Should have done this first, but that's fine. That's a good one. It's a very good one. Uh, let's do this. I'm just going to bounce this. Um, again, just trying to keep them off of stuff, essentially. Um, I'm not playing super perfectly here because I'm kind of rushing through a little bit, mostly due to this frame rate issue, but... Um, the the whole idea here is we're keeping them off of as much as possible so we're we're doing okay here um we'll see if we can really get there or not but uh yes i would love to to draw a couple cards um we'll put that back that's fine uh here hmm let's play you out 
I'm gonna hit this onto this. Uh, we're gonna do this. And play this out. Um, yeah. Could have just played this out, but it doesn't really matter too much. So next turn, uh, we can just play Sanctum of All if we would like. Um, we'll, we'll see what they do, of course. Uh, but Sanctum of All is obviously going to help us pretty significantly. Wow, that's so mean. Uh, let's go ahead and scry. That's so dirty. Um, we'll keep that san uh, the uh, Sanctum on top. Um, we do kind of need every single one of them, so... Alright, um, let's do this. Get this. I will say this deck rebuilds fairly quickly, which is kind of nice. Uh, let's play Sanctum of All. Let's play this. Uh, and see what they do. There's not much we can do, but keep playing these out, so that's what we're gonna do. Chances are they've got a way to deal with it, though, which is kind of the problem. Um, but if they don't, then, you know, hopefully we can get there. Um, this is going to start getting a little tough, though, because we are running out of, of actual Sanctums on some of these. Yeah. This is such an annoying deck to play against. <laughs> um, I will say, very, very annoying. Um, let's throw this out there. Should have, I guess, done this first, but... Again, playing a bit loosely. Let's get you, actually. Um, let's play this. Let's play this. We'll do that. Alright. See what they can do. Sorry this one's a longer game. I know it's uh, probably a bit frustrating to watch, but hopefully it's not too bad for you. Yeah, that's fine. I'm loving the new set, though. I will say that. We've gotten so many cool things going for this deck. Or for this set, excuse me. I uh, get to draw a few cards here. Um, let's get rid of Calyx here. Um, let's see. Do green, I guess. Throw a free Satessin champion out. That's so nice that it's, like, literally free. <laughs> Um, this is fine. Um, let's do this. Another Sanctum Vault. I'm actually going to take that. Um, I know that seems kind of weird because we doubled up, but, um, we're doubling up for a very good reason. <laughs> Given the deck we're against, I think that's worth it. Uh, here we also get to start mitigating some of these negative counters that we get and hopefully power this guy up. So now... You know, we're at least in a little bit of a better shape. Um, okay, so. Let's do this, and we'll go ahead and get rid of this. I mean, you know, why not? Um, yeah. Probably would have been safer just to tap it down. Um, but we can still do that, so, like, I'm not really... I'm not really concerned. Okay. Uh, so pre-combat, we can just tab this down. We could discard a card, but I kind of want to keep the Sanctum of All. So here again, we've got multiple axes to attack on. So if they finish one, then okay. They just gave up. That was kind of surprising. I guess they just ran out of answers, um, but I suppose the next time we go, we really get the value. So, hey, we got to plat one. I don't think that's ever happened. Sorry for the frame rates on that one again, though. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too terrible to watch, but uh, let's jump into... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got a mastery thing. Let's do the mastery thing. Let's make the video even longer. Um... But yeah, I am loving, absolutely loving this deck. This is such a fun one. Uh, we'll finish out, or no, not quite finish out red, but we'll get closer. I don't know why I chose red. I didn't, that's like, not my, it's not my least favorite color, but it's also not my favorite color. But that's fine. Loving this. Absolutely loving this. This deck is sweet. 
Uh, two wins so far, one more game to go in this video, and then of course we will jump into a second. Uh, so, do stay tuned for that. Uh, very, very exciting in my opinion. Um, yes? Uh, a little slow with these two tap lands, but oh goodness. Yep. Well, this is going to be a fast game. <clears throat> so, you know, I guess that's good. <laughs> we'll throw this out. Um, chances are we're we're not gonna we're not gonna get there on this one. But if we can get a shatter this guy, we might be okay. Uh, we'll we'll certainly see. Um, that's not a shadow this guy, but that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and drop a sanctum out. Um, also, just want to mention uh, yesterday we kind of really talked about it, but uh, we did uh, officially kind of release two new tiers on our Patreon. Um, I just want to mention, you know, Patreon is something that we really appreciate having that access to it, and it's a really great tool for us, but please keep in mind that, um, you know, there is no, you don't have to have to be a part of that if you do not want to. That's not something that we're, we're trying to push necessarily, um, but we do appreciate the support, and so if, if anybody is looking to more directly support what we do, um, that's a great way to do it. So I... I would just suggest that if you're thinking about it or if you really, you know, if you really enjoy the content, which I certainly hope you do. If you don't, please tell me why. But um, if you do enjoy the content, then please consider um, at least checking that out and just seeing if there's a tier for you that maybe you'll in you uh, you would like to subscribe to. And if you don't, no worries. No problem at all. Um, well, this isn't going to go well. Um, it's really not going well. We're going to play this out. Um, this at least blocks something, <laughs> um, but we're taking so much damage here at this point. <clears throat> yeah. Ugh. What do we even try and block here? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blah. Whatever. We're just going to block this. Not good, not good, not good. Uh, we lose next turn, right? Unless we can shatter. If we can shatter... Ooh, mean. That was so mean. Um, yep, we're done. Alright, that's okay. We kind of knew, in those matchups, you kind of know it's either shatter or bust, so that's fine. Um, well done, opponent. Uh, Alright, loving this deck, though. I think this is super fun. We're going to jump into a second video very soon, so do stay tuned for that. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, please make sure, of course, to like and subscribe if you are not already. We certainly would appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in part two. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you again to Turn 1 Soul Ring for uh, submitting this deck. I really do appreciate it. Uh, anybody that wants to, please check out our Discord. So thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you very soon for part two.